Hi, okay, so um, I've had a couple people ask me for this. Uh, this is something I teach in my sewing classes. It's how to make a fabric tie. And um, so there's a lot of mask patterns floating around the internet, um, but a lot of them are using elastic and my husband works in the OR and that's um, elastic a lot of their, uh, a lot of the fabric like head covers and things like that that they have used in the past have all had to be um, cleaned at a very high temperature and that would break down elastic. So they're actually asking for, at least in um, some settings, they're asking for uh, ties and there, there's not a lot of, if you, if you know how to sew, it's generally a skill you have, but if you don't or if you're trying to help out and you're like, I don't know how to do that and there's no instructions. Anyway, so this is um, how to make these really, really simple ties. The length of the tie is basically the length of a standard um, piece of fabric, which is usually 44 inches, but mine are actually shorter, and yours should be too, because you want to wash your fabric. You want to pre-wash it and dry it so that it shrinks. So this is a piece of fabric, and um, it's it was 44, and now it's like 33. Uh, 43, excuse me. Um, and then I usually end up cutting the like light part ends off. Um, so basically, you take your... You take like a piece of fabric and you're going to cut two two inch strips lengthwise like here and I have them. Here's one of them. So this is a two inch by it's about 43 inches, two by 43. And um, this is what you're going to do. You're basically going to iron it a lot. Um, and I will show you and then you get this little tie and I'll show you how I attach that in a second. So I'm only just going to do the ends because um, we messed around with video YouTubing and how to do speeding up stuff, and I, I'm not technical or YouTube-y, so you get me in real time. All right, so you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to iron it. I can help if my iron was on. Um, and you're going to iron it. You're actually going to do the whole length, but pretend I just did. And then um, we have this nice little crease there, and you're going to iron. You're going to open it up, and you're going to iron each side into that little crease you just made. And do the other side. So now that both of those edges are obviously not doing this very well because I'm doing it unevenly today. Um, in towards that center line. Okay. That center fold you just made. And then guess what? You do the same thing you started with, that same first fold. And it'll get you a tie that's about a half an inch wide. Um, <clears throat> and you do that down the whole thing. So that's it. It basically... Iron it once in half, iron each of those sides back into that half crease and iron it again in half so that all the ends are um, contained. And honestly, I don't do anything to the ends. They're just salvage edges. Well, these aren't, but these are. Um, because we've done, we've done, um, you know, they just cut the strings. But um, we've done it that way for years with the hospital, um, the surgical caps and there's never been a problem. Um, so once you get your, once you get your tie all the way ironed, you'll have a <clears throat> square, which I didn't pre-make, we'll pretend this doesn't have ties. And then you'll just kind of center it up there, put it in, and then you would um, sew this part first, like sew it on one side. If you try to get it even, you might not catch all the things on the other and that's actually okay. Because you're going to do like, you're going to sew this and then you're going to sew really close to the edge all the way down your tie. And then you're going to flip this thing over. And if there's any parts on this that didn't get caught in, then you'll sew that. And then all the way down the other side, the edge, which will get you ties for the fabric masks. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks.